Hello, welcome to Ekidel. We are a trained future civil and structural engineer. My name is Justice Umoka. I am your instructor. Today, we will be learning the design of building structure using Prota Structure Software and also the, the design code that we will be using for this tutorial is American code, which is the ACI code and, and also we will be using ACI 318 part 14 so by the end of this lecture you will be able to design concrete building using ACI code and the software that you'll be using is Prota Structure. Okay so right now as you can see it just here right now you can see that the code that we are using as you can see the code all our design codes are already in ACI as you can see it here and I know most of you doesn't know how to set this um, AC how to choose or design with ACI code in using Prota Structure so we have dropped a link which you can download this design environment which is for STI already custom. So if you want to design with ACI code in Prota Structure, I would say you should check on the link down below and download this environment and once you download this environment, all you have to do is just to unzip the file and then copy the file down to your Prota folder which is located on the document. Now once you paste that folder on the document, what you now do is to now open your Prota Structure and automatically you will see this name ACI 318 part 14 Prota Design Template. So once you open the file then you can now begin to now, you can choose to remove all your grids, you can choose to remove all your grids by just deleting it and then by deleting it and then imputing your own grid or go ahead and now import using SNR reference join but if you can also um, um, do your grid directly on this place you can also create your grid directly here so this is just to show you how to design in Prota structure with ACI the de um, design code okay so right now I'll just use this simple um, grid right now as an example to show you how to design so I'll just click on this place right now. Also, I want to insert a colon right now. I'll just click on this place right now. I'll click on this place called set, set out. As you can see it here, this place shows you how to insert a new drawing and also open a recent drawing that you, that, you have, that you have already done. And also you can also see how to link models together and all that. And also you can save also why on this place called model you can here called modeling you can choose to um, create a grid here you can choose to create a grid one, one after the other or you can also choose to create an orthogonal axis generator as just what i've just done right here and then also you can move also to this place also called loading this is when you have finished modeling your structure and you want to start loading then you can now move to this place and we also have a review tab and then also this analysis area also Okay, so right now, let us begin right now on what is our business of the day, which is to model um, a simple structure using this ACI Prota design template. And also we will design the structure using all the, all the ACI 318 um, design standards. Okay, so right now, let's begin just now. Okay, so to now begin our modeling right now, we'll click on story 00 as you can see it here. And then the first thing you have to do right now is to insert your columns because let me just have to insert my columns right now. And once you do that right now, once you click on this column, a dialog box appears right now as you can see it here, where you have to set your column parameters. And in this case, I want to use my column size to be 250 by 250, or let me choose to be, let me use 300, 250 by 300 millimeter column which gives us a rectangular column okay and then we leave this place at zero and this at zero this is called eccentricity of column so i'll leave it at zero and at zero and i'll go here right now and zoom out this place and then place my column right here as you can see it here now also i'll also go here right now place another column here and also place another column right now and also another column here also now if i want my columns to be inserted all around at all i can click here and then drag it to this place and automatically you will see my columns all there and right there. I also do the same thing by clicking here and clicking here and then drag this place and put my columns here and then also drag here and put my columns here. Okay, now you can see all our columns right now. Okay, so if I go here right now and then right click here and then say 3D, 
you can see our 3d view you can see all our columns standing as you can see there you can see all our columns as you can see there i also click back here again and say plan view now right now once you're done inserting all your columns as you can see it here you can see the column sizes as we have done that now if you want to change any of the column size or, or you want to change the column orientation you want this place called 50 to be at this area edge you just click on this place right click and say properties as you can see it here and then go here right now and change to 300 as you can see change here to 300 and then input here to 250 millimeter and then once you click on update you can see that there, there will be a change automatically right now you can see there okay but just now we just wanted to have the other direction 250 by 300 okay and then i'll click on what updates okay so right now you can see it right now okay so right now you will now go ahead right now to now and insert our beams so once you're done with slab you're now going to insert our beams in my next video i'll be showing you how to insert concrete wall because actually most especially once you're designing with aci code it is um, advisable to use um to use shear walls or concrete walls in most of the critical areas so in my next video i will teach you on how to use um, concrete wall because that is that helps to um that this concrete wall helps to form rigidity which will take care which takes care of earthquake at least for the earthquake not, not, to not affect the structure um that much okay so right now i'm gonna go to now insert my beams right now so once i click on my beams icon right now and then be the beams um the beams dialog box property appears just now next thing again also i will also insert my um beam width which i will still use 250 because the column is 250 width and then i will also go here right now and choose my dim beam depth i would like to use my beam depth to be 450 450 millimeter and then i'll now go right here right now and then begin to insert my beams just now so i'll click on this place right now and then click at this place again and then click here again and then click here again and you can also choose to insert beam if you have a beam running around this place you can choose to click at the first point and then go here and click at the last point and automatically you will see all your beams you can see it here right now so i'll just put all my all my outer beams as you can see what i'm doing right now and i'll click on escape right now and then click to now, now begin to put my internal beams just now so I'll click on this place. Imagine that I have beams here right now. I'll click on this place to start being right now. Okay. So also, and while you are still watching, there is what we call um, Ekidel mentorship class. So if you are interested to join our to join our Ekidel mentorship class, you can join our Ekidel mentorship class using the link down below. And then you can also join our online Prota training, online Prota social training. We will train you and also um, mentor you on how to. Um, use Prota structure to design buildings and other um, buildings structures like concrete structures and also steel structures okay so right now we have done inserting all our beams right now and check out 3d view also you can also see all our beams as you can see there all our beams are being connected to, to, to columns now the next one time is to not now begin to impute our slabs so go back here right now to our plan view right now and then click at this place right now called slab right now so once i click on this slab right now a dollar box will appear on this place which says slab properties so on this place right now i'll have to input my slab thickness so i want to use my slab thickness to be 150 millimeter and then i will now go again right here right now and then input on this place called load now on this loading right now i have to put my dead load which comprises of the partition load and also um partition load and also um and also um um finishing load so i'll take that to be 1.5 and then i will have to now come to this place called impose loads i right click here and then choose the kind of building i'm designing for i am designing for an office building so i'll quickly locate an office building as you can see it here i'll locate this place called office building as you can see it here now automatically since we are using aci code as you can see that all the values right now all the all these loading values is now on aci so you can see office building lobby and first corridor we are we are going to use this office building with your this is for general one so we're going to use this right now this particular one okay so right now on this place right now called the roof load i want my roof load to be 1.2 that's my roof load and then on this place cost non load i want my snow to be 1.2 also and then on this place called rain load um, we don't have adverse rain on that area, so I'll put it to be 0 0.5. Okay, and then right now, once you're done with this right now, we now begin to now insert our slabs 
we're going to click on each of the panels to insert our slabs right now insert this insert this and insert this and also insert this and then also insert this right here and then insert this right now and then we'll click on what they call one key and then click on this place now right now we have to now provide a staircase to this building right now so the staircase on this building let's assume that the staircase on this building is at the edge of this place right now so i'll have to stretch my this my grid line right right now i'll stretch it outward by using stretch as you can see it here stretch axis and then stretch it out just to have a space for the staircase okay so right now i'm gonna have to also offset this right now offset this my staircase width right now from this grid line so i'll right click here right now and then say offset and then i'll have to offset this right now by using um let me say our uh, staircase width is two meters so i'll just to offset right now i will hold shift function f2 and then i'll type my um distance two thousand millimeters and i'll click on what they call okay okay or enter okay then i'll click on escape and then right now i cannot see so on this place right now, I'll have to now provide my staircase beam. As, let me just provide it here right now. This is my staircase hall right now. So on uh, this place right now first, I have to impute um, a column here to carry the staircase. I can choose to use a circular column for that. So I'll just come here right now, remove this right now, remove this width, and then use a circular column of... 250 and then i'll click on what they call modify automatically it becomes a circular column as can see it here right now so right now i will now have to go and apply a beam on that place right now this beam is to carry the staircase landing and then this i'll put i also um provide this here also this column here also provide this column here properties and then put the circular column here also and then um provide my beam my beam also on this side also click here and then click here and then click here okay as you can see it right now so if we check this out right now on our 3d view right now you can see what we have just gotten right now 3d view you can see what i've gotten right now okay this now becomes our staircase hall we are the staircase we start from this place right now and go over and then come over this place and then enter here okay so right now we now go over right now to now and insert story okay so right now we now go back to plan view right now now on this place right now as you can see it here we just save this first of all once you're done you save that and then we will now go over right now so um once it is done saving we will just go over to naga insert story like i said before if you want this design template i would say you check on the link down below and download this design Potter template okay so right now i will now go over right now to this place and then begin to now insert my story okay okay so on this place right now once we are done with that right now let's do right now is to now insert our story so to insert story right now i will say you should click on this place called building setup right now now on this place right now you go to this place called story operation then click on this place there will be a drop down right now and then click on this place called insert story okay so right now on this place right now i will say she put two she puts the value two because we want to design for a one story building so i'll say she put two right here and then click on this place called um okay and then click on say say yes now on this place right now you can see that we now have story one and story two as you can see it here we have story one and then story two as you can see it here now we now go over right now and then click on story one and then go back to plan view right now now as you can see right now if you check on 3d view right now we still have story, just story one left so we have to now go and generate story um story one onto story two because they are they are all similar so go here right now and click on this place right now and then click on story one okay so once you click on story one right now then go back to this place again now generate story and then you will see this place called generate story right now you all know how i got here i got here by coming to building set out and then go to this place called story operations and then go to this place called generate stories okay so right now i want to generate from source story one our source story is one and the uh, story one is the source story and the target story is story two so by clicking on story two here right now we are saying that we are going to copy all the beams and columns and slab onto story two as you can see it here but since on this place right now we want to we, we don't want to use okay let me just click on this place called okay now on this play once you see this place called process completed that means that everything has been completed right now so we now 
now have story two as you can see it here and we also have story one as you can see it here so you can now see our story one and our story two right now now the next thing to do right now is to now impute our story height right now so we go back to this place again called building set out and then click on this place story operation and then click on this place called edit story edit story right now is where you have to impute your height of story so if your story one it is having different heights this way you can put it so on this place right now our, our story one which is this place which is the, this place is car is 3150 millimeters and then story two remains three meters so i'll just put that three meter three thousand millimeter and then on this place right now i will have to put our first story button level which simply means dpc level so i'll put that right now 450 millimeter and then click on this place called OK. Now, once I click on OK right now, just notice what will happen to this video right now. There will be a shift which we now increase in height. So I'll click on OK right now and take your eyes here right now, okay? So you can now see what happened just now. Okay, so you can now see that this now becomes our staircase area right now. This place, our staircase area, and this place on our slab right now. Okay, so right now, we now move on right now to now go and um, I will now move on right now once you're done with that right now and check everything right now i always like to change the color of my um view because i don't like this yellow color for beams i like i will show you how to change the color perfectly right now okay so let me just show you right now okay so to change the color of my model as you can see right now to change the color of my main bars to how it is it will be good like i will now click on this place called display from this display right now, I want to click on this place called layouts and color settings. Now, on this place right now, I cannot choose the kind of color I want my main bars to display. So, my columns, I like my column to display um, this kind of color, magenta, deep, deep, deep pink. So, I'll click on that right now and then say OK. And then I'll go over right now to, um, to beams. I want my beams to display green color, dark green color this deep green color and i'll say okay and i like my slab to display light blue i'll go down here and click here right now for this and then say okay and then i'll now go again right now and then click on my partition walls to now also have um dark gray so i'll click on this right now from partition walls and then say okay this and say okay and then i'll also increase this partition wall um opacity to at least um, 171 and then click on what you call okay and you can see what we have just now right now you can see that right now okay so right now again we will now have to now go and impute our wall load on this building as you can see it here so we have, we have modeled just this office complex this simple office complex also showing the staircase hall as you can see it here and also how, how we imputed all our slab load and you can see that and also instead of all our columns and then we are about to now go and impute our wall load on this place right now but that will be on our next video so in our next video right now i will show you how to insert wall loads on all on all the floor beams how to input the wall loads on all, all the floor beams and also we will also have to design this structure we will have to now go and input our load cases and all that and also we have to also um apply our load case and also um provide our tie beams for these buildings and then before we now go and now perform the full structural design for this building and then we'll now move on to the foundation design so you cannot see what we have just done right now and this what well, this building is designed using aci code as you can see it here right now so if you want this aci design template in portal structure i would say you check on the link down below and download the template although it, it's not free but it will uh, it's just a little amount of money so if you need it just take on the link down below and download it and we will take up this project from this start to the very end which is the structural detailing we are going to have to perform the full the, the full the we will have to perform the full the full detailing for this structure okay so thank you so much and god bless you all and then if you like if you um like this video i would say that you should just subscribe to our channel ekidel and also share this video for your friends so that they can also know how to design um they can also know how to design building structures using um they can also know how to design um buildings in this software using aci code okay, so thank you so much and god bless you